Hannah with an X Factor, the finals recap. Tonight we're recapping the performances. Tomorrow we recap the results. So the performers sang a first song and each one of them sang with another star, an actual recording star. Josh Krajic was up first and he sang with Alanis Morissette, Uninvited. I don't think the song was really good for him. Alanis comes out and just outshines him as with the other performances and the recording star that came with them. Josh sounded scared and like just a lot of nerves. The first three songs were all a lot of nerves. His second song was called, it was At Last. And for me personally, I thought it was a song you would sing in week four or five of The X Factor but not in the finals. I didn't get the song choice. Now, I'm not saying he didn't sing it well. He sang it great. It's just that the song itself and the performance didn't live up to the hype that the X Factor starts with. You know, the show starts and you got that dun, 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 and the lights are flashing and the judges come out and the world is coming to an end because it's such an amazing show. And then you sing at last. It doesn't work that way, for not for the finals, at least for me. So Josh's two performances were good, but not great. And I don't think that he made it, um, his last song just didn't make the impact that I think the other two performers did. Chris Renee comes out, his first song is singing with Avril Lavigne, Complicated.